I'm scared. I'm afraid of what is going to happen if Trump becomes president. I'm afraid that I will have to go into hiding. I'm afraid that I will have to leave my family. I'm afraid that I'm not going to be able to be with the one I love. I have really good friends that are speaking up for people like me. And if you're cishet and you believe that trans people need to be here, then I need you to speak up too. I need you to make sure that Trump doesn't win, that we vote all of the Republicans out. Yes, when I take a look at what is going on, Democrat trying to create fear into people, if Trump is re-elected, he will do this, he will do that. They are forgetting that Trump has been there for four years. What they are trying to say here does not make sense. Think that you are soft selling the more fundamental aspect of people viewing somebody who, I'll be perfectly honest with you, I don't know of a job interview that you could have gone on and delivered the performance that was delivered by Joe Biden and gotten a job. And I'm not talking about the presidency. I'm talking about like cashier at Home Depot, like a job that you would not think, okay, that, that is the hardest job in the entire world. And Bakari, I, I would also suggest, you know, Bill Clinton on the eve of it all, uh, it came out, he had had an affair, uh, I can't remember, Jennifer Flowers, I think it was. And then it was uh, the Paula Jones situation. And then there was the Monica Lewinsky situation. And Democrats did fall in line. There were, I mean, people made, oh, this is terrible. And I'm disappointed with the president. But ultimately, the Democrats did fall in line. I, I think that you are soft selling the more fundamental aspect of people viewing somebody who, I'll be perfectly honest with you. I don't know of a job interview that you could have gone on and delivered the performance that was delivered by Joe Biden. The only problem with that, John, and the only problem with framing it as such is the fact that you discount everything that he's accomplished in the first three and a half years. No, well, I don't. I, know. I, I don't but you, at all. But, you do, by, by, but he's yes, not running but, but, for, for what he did three and a half years. He's running for the next four. But nothing happens in a vacuum. And what we what we have to do is people just want to. My, my friends, my friends on the left, we want to only magnify what we saw on at the debate, which is fine. I get it. Yes. When you take a look at this article, donors have frozen 19 million in pledge contribution to binary re-elections. Fox News recently put this out. This comes just a couple of days after George who had a massive fundraiser for Biden in early last month called on him to drop out. Won't be too much longer until then forcefully quest Biden, they are not about to let the money stop flowing. A lot of things are happening in the Democrat Party and if care is not taken. I saw recently Biden is in Michigan campaigning and even the governor of that state is not there. Ask yourself this question, why? The two of you weren't decided. My question for you, you weren't decided before this happened if you should stay in the race. How do you feel now after watching this news conference? Relieved, and I think he should stay in. So your opinion has changed? Uh, From not sure to he should stay in? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how about you? How do you feel? You weren't sure. How do you feel now? Same. I think he's the logical choice. I think what came across was that of what he is. Joe Biden is very caring about people. He's very knowledgeable and experienced, and he's not just out for himself, that he really cares about the country. I've always been a Democrat. And it's like, for, for, the, for the most part with the Democratic Party, they always make a bunch of promises that they can't okay, deliver. Yeah. You know, they use the issues of the African-American community as a soapbox to stand on mm -hmm. and make promises, you know, just to get us to come out and vote. And then once we vote and everyone's in place, it's like, well, what happened? Speaker, I rise today in support of H.R. 8281, the SAVE Act. For years, Democrats have called Republicans conspiracy theorists for stating Democrats want illegal aliens to vote in our elections, yet President Biden and every single Democrat in Washington want this bill to fail. 
If Biden and the Democrats want to clear up this conspiracy theory, Mr. President, when this bill passes, make sure you sign it into law. And on another note, I've been black for my entire life. I'd like to bring up the most racist thing I've ever heard is the insinuation by Democrats that black and brown Americans are too stupid to get an ID to vote, just like everybody else. I call this the soft bigotry of low expectations. Figuring out how to vote in this country is a very low bar, and we could all figure it out regardless of your race, religion, color, or creed, and we should all want free and fair elections. Let me get this shit right. You mean to tell me y'all flooded Chicago with all these immigrants, like Trump say, the bad ones. Y'all done flooded Chicago with all these immigrants and it's already enough violence out there and now they robbing people with a translation app. Mother can't even speak English. But rob somebody on the red line with a translation app? Get the out of here. Where's the taxpayers' money going? Chicago is already riddled with violence. Black on black crime. Killing kids. Over 100 shootings. Yes, this is a daily show. A question surfaced to some of these guys. Three said, I will vote for Trump. They outline reason why they are going to vote for Trump because Democrat promise and they don't fulfill. The other one, they actually had nothing to say. You will see exactly the difference here. People are coming to say, oh, I'm going to vote for Biden like the other video on CNN. That is the cleaning, the one to clean up. They will go and bring, you know, Democrat supporters, you know, to do this interview like the, the independent thinkers. How can you say you are independent, you have not decided, you are undecided voter, then you already have who you have to vote for? By now you should not have. You, you should still be thinking like, I can vote for this person if this happened, not bringing this kind of persons into a show. Yeah, if Biden can survive the next 48 hours of coordinating rebellion from Democrat leaders, it's over. Media and the Democrat power brokers will settle back behind Biden and pivot to a coordinated rebuilding effort to restore his campaign. Joe Biden comeback narratives are already being spawned and yes, they will be necessitating to watch the race will be tightened come on aid. That is Charlie Kick sending out this information on Twitter recently. President Biden is fighting right now for his political future. Watch. Every single person I talked to at the fundraiser thought the same thing. The guy that we just saw for the last hour is definitely not someone who is considering leaving the race.